what are some other goals that a writer might have, that an author might have, that they would want to use podcast appearances to support? I think just as with anyone else who's getting on podcasts, the thought leadership to be known within your sphere of influence, yes, to book sales, to other speaking opportunities, because you never know who's listening to a podcast interview. People might reach out that they would like you to write a blog post for them. There might be another host who wants to interview you. So it it goes beyond just the one single interview and it can have that ripple effect just to, to get the word out there. Maybe you simply want to spread your message and that's your whole purpose in it is to be on podcasts to do that. And that is absolutely possible for some. It might be to grow their email list, whether that's for future book sales or they're creating a course out of their book and they want that community, or maybe you are building a community in general and you have a group that you want people to join. Uh, So there's just a variety of different things that you can do with podcast appearances for your end goal. I always recommend that you have somewhere to send listeners to and to, to get their email information. So that way you can keep in contact with them. And then you can measure your ROI for what that interview did for you by seeing who is subscribing to get a freebie or your newsletter or something like that. 